Hello everybody. I just want to show you very quickly how to do a chi-squared goodness of fit test in SPSS in order to check for Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium if you have um, collected your own genotyping data. So starting with SPSS, we start with an empty uh, data sheet and we go straight to the variable view to set our variables. And we just need two variables. The first one is going to be genotype. And we're going to assign it values. And for our example, the first value is going to be a TT genotype. The second value is going to be a heterozygous TC. And the third value is going to be a homozygous CC. So these are our three genotypes here. We adjust the level of data to nominal, and we go straight to the second variable, which is going to be frequency. In this case, we don't need to assign values, but our data is going to be scale. Going to the data view tab now, and for genotype, we just add one, two, and three, or the three genotypes we have. And let's assume frequencies of 37, 25, sorry, 20, and 7. Now, because of the way we have entered data, we need to explain to SPSS that these are frequencies. So we need to go to data, weight cases, and we're going to weight cases by frequency. We click OK, and we should get a confirmation in the output um, file now that our cases um, have been weighted by frequency. So now we go to Analyze, Non-Parametric Test, Legacy Dialogues, and Chi-Square. Now, there are different types of chi-squares, but the one that we need in this case is the goodness of fit. And basically, we want to see how well our frequencies fit with the expected frequencies according to the Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium. So we choose this option, and our test variable is genotype. Now, this is the important part where we need to assign the expected value. There are two ways to find expected values for, for genotype. One is that probably you can find them in the database, but that's a bit too generic. Um, and you don't know if your population, the population that you have collected the data from, um, actually resembles the population of the database. Um, for that case, it's much better to do your own calculations and calculate your own expected values for your genotypes. So let's assume that we have used our own data and use the Hardy-Weinberg equation and we have our own expected values. It's important at this stage to enter the values in the same order as the genotypes appear in your data set. For example, the first value that we're going to enter corresponds to the genotype TT, which is our first genotype in our data file. So let's assume that we have calculated an expected a genotype frequency of 34 for TT. We add that, and the second one is going to be for the heterozygous TC, which is 25 in our example. And let's assume that we have five heterozygous CCs. So what we have here in this column is, are the frequencies of our um, genotypes in our population. And what we have here is the calculated expected genotypes. All we need to do now is to click on OK. And in the output, we get two different parts. One is the genotype. And this is just an overview of the data that we have. So these are the observed ones, the ones that we have in data um, spreadsheet. 
and these are the expected ones, the ones that we uh, entered when uh, doing the, the test. And of course, we have the residual here, the difference between the observed and expected. Uh, it, it's nice to do a quick check, to, for example, to make sure that you have included all your participants here. And then we have the test statistics. So this is the, the chi-square value. Um, these are the degrees of freedom. Again, it, it's a very quick check, for example. The degrees of freedom um, a, is the, the, the number of levels that you have within your variable minus one. So we have three genotypes, so we have two degrees of freedom. Again, it's just a very quick check that you have entered your data correctly. And this is the, the significance of the test. And as you can see, um, it's 0 0.356, which is not significant. Uh, in this case, we assume that the two uh, frequencies, the hardy weinberg and our uh, frequency, are the same. There, there are no significant differences between the two. And therefore, we assume that our data set uh, complies with the hardy weinberg equilibrium. Um, last point to make is that there is a comment here that there are no cells with uh, frequencies, expected frequencies fewer than five. Um, th this is one of the assumptions for this test to, to work accurately. Um, so if we go to this part here, our calculated expected frequency for the CC homozygous was five. If it was below five, then we would have violated one of the assumptions for um, chi-square, in which case we would have to choose the exact chi-square test. Anyway, I hope that was simple enough and uh, it will help you to do your own Hardy-Weinberg um, equilibrium statistical test. Thank you.